Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Elizabeth Wenger, filling in today for Frank Malico. And we begin with our pitch. If you have a show idea, we would love to hear from you. You can go to facebook.com slash Sunday and comment to the page. All right, let's get right to it. They have been serving free meals at the corner of Jones and Golden Gate in San Francisco's Tenderloin every day, if you can believe it, since 1950. After seven decades and some 40 million meals, St. Anthony's has outgrown its original space. Now St. Anthony's opens its new dining room this weekend, allowing them to feed even more people. And to tell us all about it, we have the executive director of St. Anthony's with us, Barry Stenger. Good morning. Thank you so much for Good being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So we were talking a little bit. In all of St. Anthony's history, this is the first time there's actually been a dedicated space for a dining room. Yes. Uh, 50 years ago, actually 50 years ago this weekend, the original dining room was, was open because Father Alfred Bodecker, our founder, decided it was tired of handing sandwiches out the back door of the church. And so uh, moved next door to an auto body shop and converted it into a dining room. So we were in that space for 62 years, moved out of it when we tore it down to build this new dining room. And now we'll be moving into a, a beautiful place that's uh, built to be a dining room with a kitchen that's that's actually built to be a kitchen. I mean, the, the uh, thing that Father Alfred hated the most was when people like media people or <laughs> press people said, uh, called it the soup kitchen because he said, no, this is not a soup kitchen. It's a dining room. It's a people where people, our brothers and sisters who are in need come together, form community, sit around a table and eat and be respected and treated with dignity and respect. So that's when you walk into our new dining room, you really have that feeling. This is not a soup kitchen. This is really a dining room. It's beautiful and as it should be for the people that we serve. Is that a key word? You mentioned it. Dining room, not soup kitchen. It's about respect. It's all about respect, yeah, because there's a lot of people in this town, especially these days, who would say, I mean, they have said it to me. They've said, if it wasn't for you at St. Anthony's, we wouldn't have all these poor people around. Well, I take that up and put it on and wear it as a badge of honor saying, you're right. If it wasn't for St. Anthony's, there wouldn't be these poor people. There wouldn't be a place for them. So that, that this building is our way of saying that, yes, there is a place for the poor in San Francisco. We're not some suburban enclave. We're not, you know, some gated community. We're a, we're a real city, a city of diverse people with who can be have more than they need and people who are in need. And they can all be here in this city. So. It's a real important for us to build a new building, to have people come in and sit there and, and feel the respect that maybe they are better when they're sitting there than they feel when they're out sitting on the street. And you've been serving meals since 1950 or St. Anthony's has. I mean, I can feel the excitement coming from you. How, how relieved are you to finally see these doors open? Oh, really relieved. I mean, we've been like getting things permitted and getting everything all set and the, the, the workers have been working right up to the end to make this happen. So. So we're really excited. We're really excited. And our guests are excited. They're just waiting to be able to kind of move into this new space and, and, and be a part of that. And St. Anthony's has been here for so long. There's so many changes in San Francisco's economy, the civil mm -hmm. rights movement. I mean, so many different eras. You have a historical wall, I understand, to kind of represent some of these changes while St. Anthony's has stood the test of time. Yeah, part of the, part of the, uh, the uh, permitting process was because we were tearing down a historic place, we needed to bring some of that up into the new dining room. So we have old pictures. We have a video screen showing actually some footage from Channel 5 back in the 1950s of wow. Father Alfred for talk, you know, Thanksgiving with turkeys and things like that. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's really interesting for, I think will be as people come in and see this, this kind of history that it's, it's all part of the present. We can be excited about the future because we've had such a great past. One of the other phrases that Father Alfred always used, we still use it, that it's the miracle on Jones Street, that without the generosity of donors throughout San Francisco, throughout the Bay Area, this place just wouldn't be. And people now are continuing to be part of that miracle. So it's, it's just a great celebration. And a bigger space means more meals. Do you need more volunteers as well? Yeah, we'll need more volunteers. We're going from a space that has that right now that seats only about 180, going to one that seats 300. And uh, so we'll have, we'll be inviting more people, more of the people you are listening today to, to come out and help volunteer. We have about 10,000 volunteers each year. A lot of high school kids come as part of their school program. 
Uh, a lot of corporate groups are coming in these days to, to volunteer, kind of a team building exercise sometimes. So it's a great place. You really work. Some places you volunteer, you think they're making work for you. At St. Anthony's, you spend two and, a, two and a half hours giving food out and serving it trays, and you know that you've put in some time that's very, very important because we can't live without those kinds of volunteers. All right, Barry, thank you so much. Good luck this weekend. That's awesome. And if you want more information about how to volunteer or just about St. Anthony's and everything they do for the community, you can check out their website at stanthonysf.org. And we'll be back with a lot more Bay Sunday. Stay with us. It's all after this break.